Howdy, I'm Jeff Totes with Aggie Athletics, and today's exclusive interview is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Today I'm joined by senior defensive back DeShazer Everett, who last season was a key player for the Aggie defense, recording 73 tackles and two defensive touchdowns. Now, DeShazer, you seemed to indicate a couple weeks ago at SEC Media Days that the defense had some struggles last year based on what you referred to as a lack of understanding of in-game situations or mental errors. What's being done so far this offseason to address those? Uh, well, coaches are really taking the time you know, to explain things to us, explain formations, what offenses are trying to do, explaining what our defense is for, each set, each uh, you know, defense that we run for certain situations, and you know, just try to understand the overall game of football. The past couple of seasons here, you've bounced between corner and safety, but this season, according to your coaches, you'll be locked in at corner. How much different is your offseason now knowing your position and your role on the team? I mean, it's still a daily grind, and you know, I gotta focus and stay locked in and know my assignments and just get better every day at my technique, and that's just what I gotta come out here and do every day, just work to try to help the team. And now, this is your first fall camp under Coach Terry Joseph, who is added to the staff in the spring. What's he bring to the table, and how's this any different than what you've done in the past? Uh, he's a very vocal guy, and he, he wants us to be vocal and talk on the back end. And you know, just to understand the defense, and you know, he wants us to be the leader since we have the most returning, the experienced players, should I say, in the in the back end. So we got to really step up, and he he really pushes that and makes us understand what we're doing, to, so we can help out the overall defense. How much does it help your training as a corner to be matched up against such athletic and talented receivers like y'all have out here? And is there one guy in particular who's a extremely tough matchup for the defense? Speedy Noel, you know, he's he's a challenge every day. I mean, we have great receivers across the board that, that excel in what they do, but you know, they all have their different styles, but speed is definitely a challenge on um, every day and he works hard and you know, it just it just prepares you for what you're gonna see in the SEC. Cause you know, we recruit the best and you play against the best. So it really helps out every day to come out here and you know, just compete against these guys and continue to excel in, in your craft and just work every day. So, you know, that's what we wanna do. We wanna come out here and work and just challenge each other to get better on both sides of the ball. And lastly, the season starts three weeks from today. And looking at those couple of months where you're playing games every Thursday or Saturday, is there one matchup or team that you're in particular most excited about? Uh, we're, we're trying to focus day to day and get ready for South Carolina. You know, take it one game at a time as the season goes on. But I'm sure, you know, you walk through the halls of the new locker room and you see LSU players uh, against the, the, the walls is being tackled and you know I'm sure in the back of everyone's mind we know we have yet to be LSU and SEC and you know it's just something we're striving to do this year we want to come out and we want to beat those guys and you know get have a great season basically but you know we're going to just focus and go see the game to game and just focus on the season so that's all we can do. Well that's all for today's practice report for continuing coverage from fall camp be sure to check out 12thman.com.